The 2-0. He throw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Miami Marlins. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Wei-Yin Chen is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Marlins. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's coming off his 10th win of the season, and you start getting that number 10, you start breaking out of that single digits, you start feeling good about yourself. I think he's at that point now where he's starting to trust his stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing if he trusts it in this ball game as well. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He also had three hits in the win last night. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This Marlins ball club, Harold Reynolds, as they begin play here tonight, it was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, Matt, it's been a rocky start in this homestand. I mean, you're one and three. You only won one game in four. Uh, the fans are, are a little restless. This is a big game to win right here to really just kind of Get some foundation of winning back in your blood. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matty, I've been very impressed with Asdrubal Cabrera. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Yeah, Matt, and Hendricks is another one of those well-respected umpires. Some say he favors one side of the plate from time to time, but most of the time, it's not very noticeable. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Oh, and he can't reel it in out there. And he'll pull into second with one away. Everyone knows that this guy's third. numbers are not where the he right wants them to be so far this year, but Brandon you never know by Nemo. that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. In now, Brandon Nimmo. And he puts it on the ground to second. Scooped up on the backhand. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Batting fourth. The left fielder number is Into 30. the box now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's set. Here's the 3-0. Oh. 
Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, I thought with two outs right there, that situation, he probably had the green light 3-0. and Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. And I think he's probably swinging here, too, 3-1. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. That's a fastball right down the middle. Now, you might be able to get away with it in the first inning. Guys are still filling him out. But if he's going to have success in this game, Matt, he's going to have to be on the corners with that fastball. Hit out towards second. Gordon is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So a good job on the mound there as he'll strand the runner at third in the opening half inning. It's the Mets nothing. Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Here's D. Gordon now. In previous duels with the Grom, he's got five base hits in 25 tries. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. And this is popped up. Back behind second, Reynolds is there for it. One out. We have a moment here in Miami to take a look at the Marlins starting lineup. Who's the one to watch Dan. You know I think everyone should keep an eye on Christian Yelich. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. In is Christian Yelich. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting well starts. executed two seamer right. on the Taylor. outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. The fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Oh, Stanton with a big swing at that one, but he got there a little too quickly, and this is going to hook foul. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. Career numbers against Chen, three base hits in 24 at-bats. He also has one home run. The 1-1 home to Cabrera. Big curveball right down the middle for strike number two. Oh, he hung him one right there. Curveball right down the middle. Those balls go a long way. He must have been looking for something else. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first down. Well, let's take a look at the Marlins defense brought to you by Majestic. And I want to talk about Adani Echeverria. This guy gets overlooked in this day and age and generation of the shortstop in the major leagues. His name very seldom gets called up. If it wasn't for a few other pretty good players at short, he'd be winning the gold glove every year. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting seventh, second baseman. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. And the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. 
settling in now Justin Bohr. he enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Michael Conforto. He's had to learn how to play on the corners. He was a center fielder in college. But now playing on the corners, he's had to learn all the angles. But it looked like he caught on quick. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a flare out toward right center. Coming in is Nimmo. Two gone. Digging in. Derek Dietrich. First chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Again, he sends it out of play. Bottom of the second here with no score. That's lifted the other way out to left. Conforto on the move. And that retires the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Here's Juan Ligares. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. One and one, here it comes. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Hey, you can't let that bother him right there. This might be a good time for the catcher to have a little conversation. Just tell him, next pitch, don't worry about that one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Yelich is right there, one down. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Now to the plate, Jacob deGrom. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. He looks really strong here early in this game and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted. And that is down as that could be two bases. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Wow. He almost Short blew that fastball seven. by him but Both he shows right. some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much but he did and that's a nice two bagger. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. And that misses two and one. Well, I don't know how he missed that pitch. That ball's in the zone a long time, but he missed it. I guess that happens. Two and one now to Reyes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Third inning, no score to this point. Line drive to left. Ozuna is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Up next for the Mets. Coming to the Very plate safely. now, TJ Rivera. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Line drive to center field. 
And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Met strand one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So coming to the plate, JT Real Muto, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Out of play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. He'll try again, one, two. On the ground for the shortstop, Reyes, right to him. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. And with one gone for him in the inning, let's check out where these guys sit in the standings. And as you can see, they've got themselves a slim two and a half game lead in the division. Now at the plate, Adani Echevarria. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. Ready on one and two. And a fastball just a bit up. Two balls, two strikes. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Hey, any time a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. So digging in now, Wei in Chen. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reynolds has got it, and the side is retired. Miami down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1-1 one one pitch. And he misses two and one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well, that base hit right there the gives him a nine-game hitting streak. Michael Conforto. Digging in for his second at-bat, Michael Conforto comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. And two the and fastball two. easy to lay off that time, two and two. Get the double play for crying out loud. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hard liner to center field. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice Here about trying to move 15. up. As Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera takes a knee high fastball Take 
right side. And Cabrera is going to have himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Got the ground ball he's looking for right there. A hard grounder, but it just wasn't at somebody. If it's at somebody, it's a double play ball. Now he's got to get back to work and maybe get another one. Standing in now, Travis Darno. Down low, two balls and a strike. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Come on, Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Yeah. He's set, here's the 2-2. Two -two. And that's in there. Base hit. Nimmo rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Well, Matt, they scored a lot of runs yesterday and they're just now well, scoring today. 15. But it's always who are you facing that particular Matt. day? The good pitching is the momentum stop. And that's what we've seen so far today. Stepping in now, Matt Reynolds. Nope. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Ready on three and one, here it comes. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really gonna need to get a ground ball. The center fielder number 12. Ready for Juan another chance, Ligares. Juan Ligares. He flew out in his last at bat. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. High in the air out towards shallow right. Stanton has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And there will be no advance here to wasted opportunity as the bases remain okay, loaded okay. with two away now. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. So one run on three hits, no errors, and three left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Mets one and the Marlins nothing. Here's D. Gordon now. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Hit weakly back to the mound. And a rather easy first out. Now batting. Riding in once again, Christian Yelich. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. 
but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Ready on one and two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins. They trail this one one to nothing. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. To third. Dietrich is there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Ready once again, Brandon Nimmo. One for two on his line so far in the game. Pitches a slider taken for a cold strike two. 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 He's set. Here's the 2 2. Ground ball right side. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. He's Come been looking really three. good. Another Michael hit, another multi-hit game. This hot streak has been really fun to watch him perform. In now, Michael Conforto. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Yelich going back. He makes the running play. Two down. Third baseman number 13. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Yelich on the move. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. The runner scores from second. And a relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. This thing was a double or more the second it left his bat. He really oh, drove it well. And it ended up one hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. Now the Marlins skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. David Phelps is going to take over here in inning number five. So it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Into the box, Travis Darno. Nope. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. He's That's fallen behind now, three and one. And 
and that's in there on the hands three and two now you know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with and this is lined hard to deep left Ozuna is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side so it's two runs on two hits no errors and a runner left last half of the fifth coming up it's the Mets three and the Marlins nothing. So stepping in Justin Bohr he's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. Just stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. He's ready now the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Nimmo racing back at the track. The wall gone to lead off the inning. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 35 now on the season. And the Marlins strike for a run. It's now a 3 to 1 ball game. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff. Don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Standing in now, Marcelo Zuna. As he loops under the ball and pops it up. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it up. And another foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of the stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now Derek Dietrich. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep but it's all about how you respond that really matters. In now JT Real Muto. Bouncer down the line. That winds up foul. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, what a dive. Hey, now. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like a left hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Here's the pitch. And this one is over, and he works the count back to 2 and 2. toward the alley in left center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit here's Juan Ligares over two on run. his line thus far one nobody Ligares. out runner on first now a hard liner toward short and that'll get down for a base hit
Well, that base hit right there extends his now streak batting. to nine games. That's now, we've been watching him. That's a couple good, series good now. He's starting to swing the bat. you got to start paying attention to this guy. He's getting hot. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jacob DeGrom, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Now a bunt attempt here. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. His past batting line against David Phelps, four for 12. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. That nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it but no dice this time. Now a bunt attempt here. Dietrich scoops it up so they get the out at first but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Something you don't see all that often anymore as the runner was breaking from third. The perfect suicide squeeze gets him a run. Into the box now, TJ Rivera. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. And he lays off again, ball three. Three and one, here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two outs here with a runner at third. High in the air out to center field. Yelich is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Mets lead it four to one. Here's Echeverria now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. they got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now everybody's swinging right. for the downs. they got to turn it around a little bit. Play a little small ball. Get them going. Martin Prado will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. On the ground to third. Cabrera's up with it. Throw gets him. Two down. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Ready for another chance. D. Gordon, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Miami down in order. They trail it 4 to 1. Welcome back to South Florida. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Sean Gilmartin is on to pitch now from the bullpen the now to start inning number, number seven. 38, Sean Gilmartin. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He's two for three thus far. Here's the one and one delivery. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Great tilt on the slider on the inside corner. Here's the pitch on two and two. 
And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full, three and two. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Takes a knee-high fastball. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. Third baseman number 13. As Trying to pick things Cabrera. up where we left off as Drupal Cabrera. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Here it comes on one and one. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Ozuna. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three, but they lead it four to one. Digging in once again, Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he takes ball 2, and it's 2-1. Two and one. The 2-1 two and one on its way. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Fielder, number Standing five, in, Giancarlo Giancarlo Stanton, Giancarlo. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3 and 2. Justin Bohr will be next. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box, Justin Bohr. Hit in the air out to left field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So nothing happening this time around. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Marlins one. Brad Ziegler will come on now, and can you believe it? This will be his 100th appearance of the season. That's got to be one tired arm. Digging in to try it again, Travis Darno. He's working on a one for three thus far. Crowd gets up for the three two. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Digging in and looking for more, Matt Reynolds. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Uh, 
Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Here's Juan Ligares. Last time through was a base hit. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Ready for another shot now. Jacob DeGrom. Four plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Has a look, now the pitch. Drilled to the left side. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. He is having a terrific game, pitching well enough to get back to the plate Short again. Stop, and this seven. time he delivers Four with a base three. hit. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes two tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Yeah. Two and two. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Three and two now. Well, we got a big pitch coming up now. That's ball three right there. And look at with this situation with two guys already on, you don't want to load the bases. You've got to come after them, maybe swing the bat. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets as they hold on to a four to one lead. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Now here it comes. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on the 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Back up to, oh, no, that got him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Now batting. Ready once again, JT Realmuto. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Conforto is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Ah, the famous neon lights of Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. Welcome back to baseball on the show. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Brian Ellington please. will come on These now and he'll slide into Miami. the seven spot in now the lineup following the, the double spot. switch. Number A.J. Ellis. 
will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. AJ Standing in, TJ Rivera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. He's got a piece of it and stays alive. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Stanton is there, one away. Now batting. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo on the night he's two for four with a pair of singles. He's set here comes the one one fastball stays way up that time for ball two. He's set and the two one pitch takes a fastball on the inside corner. All even at two and two. Here it is. Back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Conforto. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. Two and, one, and this is low, ball two, two and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, he breaks out the hook there, good for strike two. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Nimmo rounds the corner and is headed home. And now this is bobbled and left. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a 5-1 ball game. And he's safe. Third baseman number 13 has dribble Cabrera. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing. Slide and a stop by Gordon. He beat it out. Digging in, Travis Darno. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the one and two. Line toward the gap in left center. Yelich calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. The relay throw on to first the double play. So they get a couple of runs on two hits no errors and no one left aboard. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Mets six and the Marlins one. Stepping into the box, a Danny Echevarria, 0 for two on his line thus far. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Skied into straightaway right. Nimmo is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was Black hoping catcher, for. One away. And now is A.J. Ellis. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. 
hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. To two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this will land foul. Another 2 2 offering. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. Now batting, second baseman. Here's D. Gordon now. No Gordon. hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Liner towards second. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So the two out hit will bring Christian Yelich in this inning. Well, that's why you grind out every at bat. You don't want the game to end on your watch. He gets the base hit, extends it, and we'll see what happens the rest of the way out. In now, Christian Yelich taking called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Looking for the complete game. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ligaris ranging back, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Gordon is on his way home. In the score is the runner from first. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Hansel Robles will make an appearance here as he is in charge of trying to ring up the final out of the ball game. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton ripped down the first baseline. The one and two pitch. Smoke toward third. Right to Cabrera. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Well, that's win number 90 on the season for them so far. And they've been a force on the field all year long. And by the looks of it, they're not done yet. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. The New York Mets with their 90th win best in the division. Jacob DeGrom records his 14th winning decision of the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. 